Voting for Iran's presidential election began today at 8 a.m. local time and will continue until 6 p.m. This election follows the tragic helicopter crash that killed President Ibrahim Raisi, the country's foreign minister, and the governor of East Azerbaijan in Jolfa, a region bordering Azerbaijan, on May 19. According to Arab News, two candidates, Amir Hossein Hashemi and Ali Reza Zakini, withdrew their candidacies just a day before the polls opened. The election will now be contested by four main candidates. One, Baghar Kalibaf, the current Speaker of Parliament and former head of the Revolutionary Guards, known to be close to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei. 2. Said Jalalai, head of the Nuclear Mediation Party and also close to Ayatollah Khamenei. 3. Mustafa Poor Mohammadi, former Minister of Interior. 4. Masoud Pazeshkian, reformist leader. This election comes at a critical time for Iran, with regional tensions heightened due to the ongoing Israel-Hamas conflict and increasing Western pressure to halt Iran's rapidly advancing nuclear program. Additionally, the country faces internal political, social, and economic crises. The international community is closely watching the election to understand the future direction of Iran's leadership and its impact on regional stability. The elected president will not only manage domestic affairs but also potentially influence the selection of Ayatollah Khamenei's successor, as the supreme leader is now 85 years old. As the voting process unfolds, Iranians hope for a leader who can navigate the nation through these challenging times and address the numerous issues facing the country. The 2024 presidential election in Iran is taking place amid significant political and social tensions. This follows the tragic helicopter crash on May 19 that killed President Ibrahim Raisi, the foreign minister, and the governor of East Azerbaijan. The election features six candidates approved by the Guardian Council, powerful vetting body. The remaining candidates include Saeed Jalalai, a former IRGC member and Iran's chief nuclear negotiator, known for his hardline stance and close ties to Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. Mohammed Bakr Galibaf, former Tehran mayor and IRGC commander, remembered for his role in crackdowns on student protests. Masoud Pazeshkian, the lone reformist candidate, who has expressed support for the 2015 nuclear deal. Ole Reza Zakani, a hardliner and former head of Iran's anti-narcotics headquarters. The Guardian Council's disqualification of former President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and the last-minute withdrawals of Amir Hossein Hashemi and Ali Reza Zakini have narrowed the field significantly. Atlantic Council, the Iran Primer, Africa News. This election comes at a critical time, with low voter turnout in recent elections reflecting widespread dissatisfaction with the government. In 2021, turnout was just 48.8%, the lowest ever for a presidential election in Iran. The outcome of this election will likely influence Iran's approach to international relations and domestic policy in the coming years, the Iran Primer, Africa News.